In the aftermath of the two weeks lockdown, the numbers continue to reach new highs. This week, the country had the highest number of new COVID cases for the whole country at 18,332. But the health department says expect the numbers to climb even further. In the past week, new cases in the country spiked by 20% from a 12,000 average in the second week of August to 15 to 16,000 cases. Authorities are hoping that the numbers will stabilize in a week or two. Pero tayo ay nagsimula kasi ngayon ng around uh, an average of 5,000 cases per day. And we will really see, no, as we haven't yet uh, felt the full effect of our ECQ. The government is shifting strategies to contain the virus while at the same time letting the economy breathe. Interior Undersecretary Ipamako Dancing said they will now be enforcing granular lockdowns. This means locking down specific barangays, subdivisions, parokes, and even streets where an infection is raging instead of whole regions or provinces. Authorities will go house to house to conduct mass testing and contact tracing. Pag nilockdown mo ang isang subdivision, ang isang kanto, ang mga ilang bahay, talagang hindi mo papayagang lumbas ang mga tao dun sa area yon. According to MMDA Chairman Ben Her Abalos, there are already 3,600 places under granular lockdown in Metro Manila. But the granular lockdown also brings their own set of challenges. The LGUs must provide at least, at least for the meals. Mm -hmm. no? uli, I mean, magsawa na mag-lockdown ito dahil wala sa ng ano. Abalos said they would need the help of the national government. The national government intends to renew the contracts of some 7,000 contact tracers in NCR, whose contracts are about to expire this month. But despite the calls of the DOH to ramp up active case finding, there are still no plans to hire more contact tracers. Instead, the national government leaves it to the LGUs, whose resources are already dwindling, to ramp up testing and tracing through different strategies. I'm Jacob Lazaro, and we are One News.